everyone. Welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Monday the 10th of April. The local media headlines today. Now it's less than a week since they killed the mayor, or at least the idea of a mayor for Cornwall, but the question remains about what we really mean when we talk of devolution. Next week, councillors will have to decide between pursuing a government offer which most of them have already rejected as a load of rubbish, or to call for meaningful devolution. And the problem with the word meaningful is that nobody knows what it means. The UK Space Agency has confirmed that Cornwall's very own satellite, Kernosat 1, will be blasted into space despite the collapse of Virgin Orbit. There's a target launch date of between March and June next year. But where it will be launched from, and indeed if it will ever actually be seen in Cornwall at all, are yet to be decided. Pirate FM had an interesting one about how Devon and Cornwall Police plan to use aerial surveillance drones to help catch speeding motorcyclists. Insisting that this is absolutely not a wheeze for simply flying drones for fun, the police say that if they spot a motorcyclist they can then relay the information to on-the-ground officers with speed cameras. I remain unconvinced. The BBC reported how two people were winched to safety after an accident while cliff walking near St Ives. The Cornish Times reported how Southwest Water is using sniffer dogs to help find leaking pipes. The Falmouth Packet is looking forward to the Tall Ships event in August. And finally, Cornwall Live asks the questions which the rest of us fear to ask. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.